Hello, and this is Delia again. And Belle said that she's going to listen to the story, too. She is very excited to hear the story about the Pooh Bear. Her likes a Pooh Bear. Do you like Pooh Bears? You do, because you're a little Pooh Bear about baby. Okay, this is called Winnie the Pooh, the, my very first Winnie the Pooh growing up stories. Are you excited, Scarlet, for the Winnie the Pooh story? Yay! Where's your Pooh Bear? Where's Pooh? Oh, my goodness. There's the Pooh. Okay, so we're going to start out with the first one called Pooh's First Day of School. And Scarlett said she likes to start out with the first day of school. Here we go. Here we go. And you know who's there with him. Tigger. There he is. He is being silly. School is starting. School is starting, cried Tigger. Come on, don't be late, buddy boy. School asked Winnie the Pooh. What are you talking about? Christopher Robin has a new backpack and lunchbox, and he's getting ready for school. We better get ready, too. Oh, Tigger, said Pooh, school's for children, not for fluff and stuffing like us. Oh, what do you mean for us, asked Tigger. Well, I mean, what do you mean not for us, asked Tigger. Tigger's loved going to school. Piglets don't love school, said Piglet thoughtfully. At least I don't think we do. You're right, Piglet, said Eeyore. This schooling business, pencils and whatnot, it's overrated if you ask me. Well, I think it sounds great, cried little Roo. Can I go too? Come along, Roo, said Pooh. We'll go all to see Christopher Robin. Maybe he can tell us more about it. You think Christopher Robin's going to tell him about it? There's Christopher Robin. Tigger was the first to bound through Christopher Robin's door. Okay, where's the school, he asked. It's about a mile away, said Christopher Robin. The school bus will come tomorrow morning to take me there. A mama mile, asked Piglet, pulling his ear. Let's not hear in the hundred acre wood, asked Tigger. If you have to go that far from home, I'm sure school's not a good thing for Piglet, said Piglet. Well, we don't have the brains for it anyway, said Pooh. You'd all like school, said Christopher Robin. I'm sure you would. Wait right here a minute and I'll make a classroom just for us. That'll be fun, wouldn't it? Play with school. So look, they're going to play school. Imagine our very own school, said Pooh. I wonder if we're up to it. Can we bounce in school? asked Roo. Of course we can, little buddy, said Tigger. School's the bounciest place there is. There's no bouncing in school, said Eeyore decisively. None, asked Tigger. School's a time for work, no time for fun, said Eeyore. Not even a little, asked Tigger. His shoulders drooped. Eeyore shook his head knowingly. Oh, said Tigger in a very small voice for a Tigger. Maybe Tiggers don't like school after all. He and Piglet were about to tiptoe away when Christopher Robin called out. Time for school to begin. Oh, da 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 dear, said Piglet. I think they're going to like it. Let's see what happens. Christopher Robin set up a table and around it he put chairs just the right size for Poohs and Piglets. We always sing a song first, said Christopher Robin as they gathered round. Good morning, good morning to Tigger. Good morning to Roo. Welcome all children. Good morning to you. Now everyone join in. This is fun, Piglet, don't you think, whispered Pooh. Shh, said Piglet. Good morning, they all sang. It is a good morning, said Eeyore, which I doubt. Okay, so we're going to...